Hey, what's going on people, Bear Fox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can fix your FPS drops, frame lags, stutters and a lot more in the new Warzone 2.0 Season 4 which has been dropped recently. A lot of you guys wanted me to cover this topic so here I am back again with this brand new video. I hope this video helps you out so make sure to watch it till the end. Don't forget to skip any steps in this video for maximum performance. Also don't forget to leave your specs down in the comments below so I can reply to each one of you individually. And with all that said, let's get started. Alright, step number one is the essential windows settings and for that you need to go over to the settings section of your screen and then go over to the gaming section. Once you are here, go to game mode and make sure that game mode is enabled. Right beneath that, click on the graphic settings and then click on the change default graphic settings and make sure that both of these options are enabled. Then go back to graphics and then in this list over here, you need to add your Call of Duty Warzone. Click on browse and simply go to the installation location of Warzone. Now once you are in the directory, you need to add the cod.exe, click on add. I have already added this game into my list. Now what you need to do is simply go to options and then select high performance over here. This will prioritize your GPU rather than using your CPU for rendering the game. With that being said, have you ever wanted to record your key moments or clips in your gameplay but never actually found a really nice screen recorder that can help you record those clips efficiently? Well. I would like to introduce you all to Video Solo Screen Recorder. It's a lightweight recorder which allows you to record and share your gameplay without affecting the performance. It's a charm for low-end computers since it doesn't occupy much CPU and it can record in 60 FPS without any lag or stutter. The interface looks really clean and it offers us video, audio and game recorder. Well, since we are recording our games, I would like to tell you that you can select a particular screen which allows you to record your gameplay seamlessly without any interruptions of notifications or anything going on your computer. You also have an option to simultaneously record with your webcam, place it anywhere and resize it however you want and it will start recording your camera. You also have an option to record your system sound as well as microphone. And it also comes with options like noise cancellation and microphone enhancement which is really amazing at this level. Wondering to record key moments or gameplays? Video Solo got it covered. The best part is it doesn't even have watermarks and it works well with all kinds of games, especially web games. You can also customize your preferences just the way you want, from video quality to video format to frame rate. You can even record your mouse in keystrokes and set up hotkeys to personalize this recorder for yourself. And the best part is you can still take screenshots while you're recording. So you can even make a thumbnail and a video simultaneously. You can download Video Solo Screen Recorder absolutely free on your Windows or you can purchase a subscription for it which is really affordable. I would give it a 10 out of 10 for the first step towards your creation. It's trusted by millions of users worldwide to so check out Video Solo Screen Recorder from the link in the description below. Once you're done with that, step number two is the best NVIDIA control panel settings. If you're using an NVIDIA graphics card, make sure to follow these settings. But if you are using Intel HD graphics or AMD graphics, you can follow my other videos, which I dedicatedly made for the best settings of those graphics. What you need to do is right click on any empty area of your desktop, go to show more options, and then go and open up the NVIDIA control panel. Now, once you are here, make sure to go to the adjust image settings with preview and select use the advanced 3d image settings then click on take me there and you'll be going to the manage 3d image settings over here take your time and copy the exact same settings which i have set over here Okay, once you're done applying all of these settings, go all the way down to the video settings, click on adjust video color settings, and then for your primary display, click on with NVIDIA settings, go over to the advanced and select the dynamic range from limited to full. For a lot of you guys, it could be set to limited, which would be affecting the visibility in your game. So make sure to do this one. Also in the display settings, go over to the adjust desktop color settings and over here, make sure that your digital vibrance is set somewhere between 70 to 75 and that will give you much more energy enhanced colors whenever you're playing the game. Once you're done with that, step number three is deanimating your windows. It is really essential and I recommend you guys to do it. Simply search 
for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and then once you are here click on the best performance and then select smooth edges of screen fonts as well as show thumbnails instead of icons windows by default has a lot of animations which slows down your windows performance drastically just by doing this simple step you will see the performance boost drastically also, go over to the demand section and then for the processor scheduling, for a lot of laptop users it could be set to background services but you need to set it to programs. Once you're done with that, simply click on apply and close performance settings. Now, step number 4 is system configuration and this is done to optimize your boot. What you need to do is press your Windows and R key together and then search for MS config. Once you are here, click on the boot section, select your primary operating system, click on advanced options, click on number of processors and select the maximum number of processors available for your PC. This helps you to optimize your boot as well as optimize your computer for the long run. So simply do it, press on OK, click on apply and then click on OK. Then simply click on exit without restart since we're going to restart our PC later. Step number five is using exit lag. Exit lag is pro's choice to get rid of all of your network and internet connection problems. If you are facing high ping, packet loss, stuttering, rubber banding, exit lag fixes all of that for you. You can simply go to the link in the description below and download exit lag for completely free. Once you open up exit lag, you need to make sure that exit lag is turned on and over here you will find a list of over 300 games you can choose from. You need to simply search for COD or Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 over here and add the Warzone 2.0. As for the game region, you need to select the nearest region for you guys. For me, it is Singapore 01, so I will go with that. And as you can see, I'm getting an estimated of 58 milliseconds of ping, which is really optimal for me. Simply click on apply routes and Call of Duty Modern Warfare will be added over here. The best part of exit lag is the tools section. You can go to the tools section and go to FPS boost, enable the first, third, fourth, fifth, third last and last option to improve your computer's performance. And once you're done with that, simply close exit lag. Now once again, let me tell you that exit lag is not free to use and you need to get a subscription to keep using exit lag. But you have an option to get 1 month, 12 month or 6 month subscription as per as your choice and if you go to the link in the description below, you will get a flat 44 plus 10% off on any of the first purchase you make. So make sure to go and choose it wisely. Once again, exit lag is worth the money and you will get much higher performance if you keep using it. So. You can just go and give it a try. Let's see exit lag helps you or not. Do leave that in the comment section down below. Step number six is creating a restore point and this is really important and I recommend you guys not to skip it. Simply search for create a restore point on your PC and once you're in system properties, locate your local disk C. Simply click on configure and make sure that turn on system protection is enabled. Click on OK, click on create and name it Warzone. Once you're done with that, simply click on create and let it do its job. Create a restore point helps you to make an image file of your computer so in case of any emergencies or your system is not working completely fine, you can always restore it back to the previous version where nothing had happened. This will protect you from data loss and restoring your computer over and over again. So this will really help you. I recommend you guys not to skip this one. Once again, once you're done with that, simply click on close and close system properties. Step number seven is Warzone 2.0 Season 4 FPS Pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below, so go and download it. Once you open it up, you will find in simply three folders. First one is the CPU priority, then the RAM optimization, and last one is the game optimization. Open up the first folder and run the increased power efficiency registry. You can double click to run it or right click and then go with show more options and click on merge. That will work the same way. Once you're done applying this, you need to choose the processor you're using on your computer. In case you're unaware of it, you can search for system information on your PC and then look for the processor right over here. For me, it is an AMD processor. It could be different for you. You also need to take a note of your installed physical memory. It is 32 GB for me. It could be different for you. So now now, I have an AMD processor, so I need to run the AMD CPU priority. If you have an Intel processor, you can go with the Intel CPU priority. Once you're done applying both of these registries, it will optimize your CPU to the maximum extent. Then you need to go over to the RAM optimization folder and this is why I told you to memorize your RAM in your PC. Now I am using a 32GB RAM, it could be different for you. So you can choose from the list I provided over here. I have left a lot of options which you can choose from and I have also left the reset to default in case you don't like the performance of the registries. Now once you're done applying the RAM registry, go back and open up the third folder which is the game optimization. And I have left over here the low med optimization and the med high optimization. So let's say if your computer is a low end computer, you need to run the low end optimization 
optimization but if it is a high end computer you can run the mid high optimization now once again if you don't know which one to run you can always leave your computer specifications down in the comment section and i will be telling you guys which one to run for the maximum performance so make sure to do leave your specs down in the comment section below and i have also left the default registry files if you do want to restore all of the settings back to normal now once you're done applying the fps pack i would recommend you guys to close it and last and final step go over to your warzone 2.0 for the best in game settings all right so once you are in your game you need to go and locate your settings go to the graphics section once you are here make sure that your display mode is set to full screen exclusive since it will give you the best fps then for the display monitor set it to the native monitor and your native graphics card for the adapter for the screen refresh rate make sure to go and set the highest one possible for you and the display resolution go with the native resolution otherwise you can just lower it down to get the maximum fps possible for dynamic resolution make sure to keep it turned off then for the aspect ratio keep it automatic vsync and vsync menus just keep them off custom frame rate limit just set it to custom and set it to 3 fps lower than your monitor's refresh rate so if my monitor has 240 hertz refresh rate i have to set it to 237 if you have a 60 fps refresh rate set it to 57. let's scroll down and for the display gamma set it to 2.2 srgb and for the brightness it's your personal preference then scroll down and for high dynamic range make sure to keep it off then go over to the quality section and for the quality preset make sure to keep it minimum in that way you're gonna be saving a lot of memory and you're gonna be getting much better fps lastly is the view section where you have to set your fov all the way up to 120 then ads field of view just keep it effective then for the weapons field of view keep it wide and 3d person field of view just keep it all the way up to max lastly for camera you want to set all of these shaking movement to least because you do not want your camera to shake a lot while you're moving so just keep them to least so guys that was it for the best settings for call of duty warzone season 4 i hope this video helped you out if it did make sure to check out other videos as well i've covered a lot of topics on my channel also if you have any queries do leave them down in the comments below we'll see you guys in another video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out